welcome to episode 6 of our P&O Oceana Cruise Vlogs. In this episode we take you on a sunrise deck tour, visit a speciality restaurant and spend another day in Rotterdam. Our six o'clock alarm call perfectly coincided with the CMV Magellan sailing past. An added early morning bonus. Still very blurry eyed, we headed up on deck to watch the sun rise over Rotterdam. While we show you around the sun decks, here's a few facts and figures about the Oceana. First launched in the year 2000, it was named by Hollywood superstars Ali McGraw and Ryan O'Neill. She started her life as the Ocean Princess, but after two years became the P&O Oceana. She has a maximum passenger capacity of 2,272 and it carries 889 crew. Any balls? Oh, hoops? Hula hoops? Oh, rackets? I don't think he's big enough to be a proper hoop, though, are they? No, no, good. Yeah, not, not for us. Maybe for you. <laughs> not, not quite big I wouldn't have any problem keeping that up because it's just sat there. There's a ball in there, honey. Get a ball and shoot a hoop. <laughs> Try it around your neck. <laughs> yeah, look at that! So we're just getting ready to go out in for our second day in Rotterdam, isn't it? Yes, we are. And we need to get some more euros. So just so you know, in Rotterdam um, yesterday, <laughs> we were trying to pay on our card, and um, with credit cards they didn't take a lot of visa. So well, it wasn't just a credit card, because obviously visa debit isn't a credit card, and like our normal bank cards, it says visa debit. But, but even on our credit but, card, yeah, we wouldn't take but visa. But anything that had visa written on it. There was take. three or four places that wouldn't take it. Yeah. 
so just to have that bear that in mind but we've also thought right we'll try and get some um cash but our friend jamie got some cash out of a cash point in Rotterdam and got charged five euros for the pleasure yeah. so what we've done is we've just gone to reception and we've got a hundred um euros out on our cruise card and there's no commission and the rates the rates a little bit down yeah but by the time you factor in five euros for using the cash point yeah there's not a lot in it yeah and you just put it straight on your cruise car and you settle up at the end of the holiday yeah. so happy day so happy we're off out to uh, rotterdam we're going to get the water taxi over to the euro bus, aren't we and then we're going to hopefully get on a tram because we've never done a tram yeah, we're before we're going to try and cover a local there's a water taxi there, so oh we yeah just spin around it just one of those little yellow things you see it there it is um yeah and then end up i think we're going to end up at the food market again yes <laughs> So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. So, here's our view from our balcony overlooking Rotterdam. That's the Euromass where we're heading in a bit. And there we have the Ramus Bridge and the CMV Magdalen in front of us. Looks like we're all getting there uh, fueled up. And look, the sun is shining. So we're very happy about that. Paul is doing his hair in the lift. It's cracking, mate. Like a shark fin this morning. <laughs> As we were headed for the Euromass today, instead of taking the free shuttle bus, we decided to head for the water taxi. But unfortunately, en route, <laughs> we got distracted <laughs> by the park. A day in the life of a travel vlogger. <laughs> Faster, faster! <laughs> Children! <laughs> That's it then! <laughs> Fun you have in Rotterdam. Yeah, right. We're going to go to get the water taxi, but we might wait for that man to stop doing the um, cleaning. Just got the uh, water taxi. You can see he's just driving off there, and it was we asked straight from the ship to the Euro Mass, which you can see here, and it was four euros fifty per person. It was awesome. It was good. Indeed, it was money well spent. It was fast and bumpy. Fast, furious, bumpy. You can choose your your uh, level of bumpiness as well, can't you? I think. <laughs> yeah. What well, did you choose? Really bumpy? Did you? No, I went for rough. <laughs> It was amazing. No, it was yeah. really good. It was good. So we thoroughly recommend that. Good way to get over here, isn't it? Yeah, very nice quick. Nice and quick. Five minutes? Yeah. About, yeah. wasn't it? If you've got a bar back, it's awesome. <laughs>
<laughs> they have heating as well. Yes, on the boat. it's really warm. And, and if lovely. you want to go outside, they've got separate doors, so it yeah. doesn't let all the cold air in. But it was, it was, it was quite good. sheltered at the back, wasn't yeah, it? Was it was good. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. So now we're going up here. Ah, Yay. The Euromast. So we're going up. We can show you the lifts, look. To the... Yeah, unfortunately the big Euro's coupe, which is the bit going up at the top, is not working today. It's for On maintenance. maintenance. So we're only going to go to that middle bit there. Are you feeling all right about this? I am actually. Well, it's all enclosed. I can't see outside. So yeah. up to number five. I'm excited, boys. I am. Ooh, I'm excited to see your face when we get to the left. <laughs> Going four, five, and open, and there'll be some strange faces. Hello. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Platforms five. Ooh. And look what we see straight away. Our house. I don't like it. I'm all right here. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, because I can't really see right over there. the edge. Most of them are staying on the same slab as you and it goes like that. After admiring the spectacular views and trying on some slightly oversized shoes, we headed inside for a nice cup of coffee. Oh, look, I've got bandy legs. Oh, that's good. Look, oh, I've got skinny legs. <laughs> you see, like these chairs, and you think, oh my god, that's going to be awful. And this is one of the most comfortable it's chairs I've sat on. <laughs> Coffee with a view. It's well over 30 foot down there. 30 foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sat up in the air. <laughs> Look how high I am. Ooh. I'm so high, I'm even talking high. <laughs> so we are live from the Euromast, having cappuccinos and latte and chocolate cake. What have you got to say for yourself, Paulie Morgan? Uh, not a lot, because I'm eating my cake. Smug is what he would say. But look at this view. And over here. Not a bad. Really yes, I've survived. Woo. We thoroughly enjoyed our visit to the Euro Mast, and we would highly recommend it. And the next time we return, we would love to come back here for a sunset dinner. So after a fabulous uh, walk along the river bank and at the Euro Mast, we're back to one of our favourite places we've been in Rotterdam. What's it called? The Mar Markal. Oh. Market Ma Hall. <laughs> <laughs> it is our favourite place, I think. Yes, and there it is. And you can even live there. You can even live on the outside. Oh. How fat would I be if I lived there? <laughs> I'm not so I'd have to live on. <laughs> I'd have to live on the ground floor. That's for sure. <laughs> He's already slow. So we're going back in. Yeah. Home. Yes. This feels like home. Back to the beautiful Market Hall. 
and food. What are we going to have today? So what are we going to eat then, boys? Hey? What are we going to eat? I mean, I'd have more Japanese, to be honest with you, or anything Okay. Personally, but... Mm, no, that's good with us. So, um, so we're back in the um, market hall, and we're back up the top in the lovely sitting position. And we're here, and today I've got um, noodles, beef and noodles with um, garlic. Paul's got... Prawn noodle with red curry. And Jamie's got... I have got the biggest bowl of ramen with noodles and beef, medium spice in today. Yeah. No one's taken the mick out of me at all for that. I'm not say, saying a word. I'm not saying and all sorts of veg, and it smells amazing. Mm. And all for like 10 euros with a bottle of water. Yeah. In fact, the noodles are about 7.50 to 8, and the water's about 2, isn't it? So, but yeah, so looking forward to this. After one last look around the market hall, we headed back to the ship. So have you enjoyed your day? Is that better? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, we've enjoyed much time and we think we'll be back, don't we? Yes, we yeah. have. Marvellous. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. So thank you, Rasta. After an early start and an excellent day out in Rotterdam, we headed back to the cabin to enjoy the frantic activity that one of the world's busiest ports has to offer. Feeling fully refreshed, we met up with the family and headed off to the speciality restaurant Café Jardin. As you can see from the menu, there was lots of lovely things on offer, and unusually, me and Carol chose the same. King scallops to start, followed by the slow-cooked beef feather blade steak. The starter and main course were both excellent and then we finished off with this trio of desserts. Yes, you get three. Both the food and service in Café Jardin was excellent tonight. Feeling properly stuffed, we headed off to the atrium for some relaxing piano music from Jersey Sea. After enjoying a couple of cocktails, our last stop of the night was the Starlight's Lounge where we were entertained by William Hicks and his Motown Legends show. So another day drew to a close on the Oceana. Stay tuned to episode 7 to find out what we get up to next.